so you see uh, I've just created everything procedural here just I'm increasing the number of steps I'm controlling the radius I'm controlling the angle I'm controlling the height and everything is working perfectly there okay hi my name is Vishal in this video let's see the mesh uh, tools distribute in that uh, we'll see the radial distribution type for that I'll just take a simple uh, cube here I'll just go to the animation and then in mesh create mesh network that gives me the default uh, distribute node in the linear type let's get into the radial so radial makes a circular uh, sort of uh, you know um, placement a radial placement the number of points can be increased here uh, we have the radius which can be uh, controlled we can also uh, control the sweep of the angle there we have the z offset which uh, gives up this for example I uh, okay uh, also we have the the planes in which the radial should be applied uh, for example I, uh, I was like uh, doing round stairs here I can do the round stairs with this uh, uh, tool here like that um, maybe I'll just select a, a, a cube there and I just scale it like that okay and then I will freeze transformation and then go to the mesh network and then go to the distribute and then choose the radial and uh, I'll choose the exit plane now if you see uh, the way the cube has been uh, you know taken I need to just check uh, how things are working here uh, so I'll just uh, open a model here Okay, I'll just see uh, the X, Y, Z thing and then let me go for the mesh network and then I choose the radial and then choose the exact plan. If you see uh, the Z is seeing up and uh, uh, X and Y are basically the front and um, back. So if you generally see we don't have anything to control specifically the orientation uh, of the uh, object here so whenever I create a model and if I'm planning anything I need to just think about the model that way it means uh, when I'm modeling a staircase so what I need to do is I need to create a cube okay like that so now just uh, try again with the mat mesh network and then choose the type to radial and yeah now I've got but again there is some more orientation problem here it should be like that freeze transformation delete history create a mesh network choose radial exit now I've got 
some 20 steps and then z offset cool isn't it now just take a cylinder and then now if you if you select the mesh uh, distribute i can increase the count and the height So it's twenty two radius is uh, seven three eighty twenty seven twenty eight twenty eight point five. Okay. So we have this uh, object here. So I'll not touch uh, anything about the object. I just leave it like that okay and then create a mesh network and then change the radial XZ plane and uh, 380 so I need to just uh, check the numbers here 380 728.5 seven twenty eight point five I need to increase the radius and the count also now uh, if you see uh, I don't have the object uh, to basically control but um, let me try the same thing again I just delete it I take a cube and then go to the mesh network and here I choose its tensor and then choose radial from here itself and then XZ plane So you should you you see here I just created a round staircase with the mesh tool here, and uh, maybe uh, I can still link up things here. For example, uh, if I just go to the expression, okay, 
mash one is equals to mash two. So actually, I say mash two should be equal to mash one, which means when I select the mash one count, the mash two will change. So uh, I'm sort of creating a procedural thing here. Okay. But when I control the radius again, it doesn't work. So we will do very similar thing for the radius also. Now when I change the mash one radius, the mash uh, two radius also changes. Now we have the angle very similarly we control the angle also then we just go for the offset So you see, uh, I've just created everything procedural here. Just I'm increasing the number of steps. I'm controlling the radius. I'm controlling the angle. I'm controlling the height. And everything is working perfectly there. Okay. So this is a, a mesh a radial tool, which you can use it. Uh, in motion graphics and also in modeling and animation stuff and create uh, uh, amazing patterns there.